What's up, everybody? Max coming in right at the buzzer, catching me five minutes late. <laughs> Hundred fifty dollars to pre-order some games on Steam. That's my that is my dude, Max. I like to hear that. Hundred and fifty dollars pre-ordering some games on Steam. No regrets. Hell yeah, because <laughs> it's never a waste of money to order some games. I am the same. I always have like a hundred, two hundred dollars of like pre-orders just sitting out there, especially with all the awesome games coming out. So you have my official approval, my seal of professional gaming approval, <laughs> Max. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, we are, you know, we're five minutes late. I'm not a late kind of person, so I don't normally <clears throat> bump it back even five minutes, but we were busy getting some stuff ready for the stream, just making sure we had all the games and software downloaded that we needed to, and um, troubleshooting some stuff with uh, one of our <clears throat> soundboards. But we are here within a reasonable amount of time, and we are ready to jump back into the old blood. I'm not really sure how much longer in the game we have. I feel like we're approaching the end. Um, there, we're playing on one of the harder modes. Uh, it's called, I don't know what it's called, something crazy. But, and so we've been stuck a couple times, but we, we managed to power through. Uh, honestly, um, I had some, <laughs> The Evil Within 2, Dishonored, Death of the Outsider, are in my hands now, in two months. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, I had some of the most fun I've had streaming in a while. Yesterday, hanging out with you, Max, Steen, and uh, Taco Trucks, joking around about this game. Um, so yeah, I'm ready to jump back into it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and turn it on while I keep blathering. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and jump into the game. And um, I don't know. We don't have too much longer to go in the game, I don't think. But if we end too early, we, we will be starting the new order which seems to be more of a story-driven game and less of a shooter, or something like that. That's what I've heard from the community. Oh, and Max, I've been watching some of the stuff with The Evil Within 2. I am so high. They have added so many quality of life, like, awesome little additions. It looks so cool. Like, they've made the upgrade system even better. They've added a bunch of new weapons. I think the um, UI is supposed to be better now. I am super hyped for it. Okay, the old blood. All right, let's see what difficulty I, I always forget what the difficulty is called. I am death incarnate, that's what the difficulty is called. Death incarnate. Okay, resume, resume. How are you doing today, Max? It is good to see you again here, buddy. As always, of course. Explore the environment to find useful items and valuable secrets. Right? Same. <laughs> same, Max. <laughs> I was the same way. Well, I mean, obviously I pre-order lots of games because I play them on stream, but... I was even more ready to pre-order Evil Within 2 because, like, all the stuff they've been putting out just looks so promising. It looks so good. Um, so, yeah, I'm very hyped. I am fantastic today. I've been very productive, got a lot of stuff done. Um, yeah, it's been great. Which is why I was a bit late. Five minutes. Okay, cool. Let's jump in. All right. So we just got past... Um, what was a fairly difficult part. Uh, we have been trying, sometimes unsuccessfully, to get every single... You know, the, you've played this game, right, Max? So you know how there's those missions where you have to sneak up and kill the dudes before they can start broadcasting the alarm? We've tried to get every single one of those, and we have gotten every one except for one. There was one that bugged out, and we died doing it, and when we restarted, it had deleted... It had autosaved halfway through the mission and deleted the guy even being able to be killed. It was very weird. Um, so that one I'm not sure if we've completed or not. 
I don't even know how to check. But one really cool thing is we found the beds um, on which you can have nightmares and play the old style Wolfenstein, which has been cool as hell. Um, and a bit trippy, but cool. We're getting there with the comp pistol kills. Ah, we finally got the stealth take the stealth takedowns. This means we'll get health um, for performing takedowns. And we're almost at dual wield kills as well, so we want to get that. Where's the helmet one? And we're getting close to the helmet one. The problem with this is that if you don't have any reduction in armor, you can't collect helmets. And so if we haven't been, you know, getting murdered recently, um, you can't collect these. So I think, like, I don't know, maybe the game wants us to, like, tank damage more often to collect these or something like that, but... If we, if we were taking damage every fight we went into, we would have definitely have finished this up already. But unfortunately, that's not, not how it is. Mashing the reload button. That's interesting. Ooh, we're getting close with the heavy machine guns. Oh, and the bomb and shocks. And the shock hammer. Cool. We're getting there. We should complete most of these. Oh, and we're all, we have one more silent commander kill to do. Ah. This, I think the one we're missing right now is the only one um, that we weren't able to do. But I don't even know if there's gonna be any more of those missions actually. Cause I feel like we're approaching the end of the game. Castlevania Lords of the Shadows 2. Yeah, if they ever come out with another um, Castlevania, I will 100% play it because it looks amazing. It's even more edgy in the second one. <laughs> I um, I may even play those games at some point if there's a big down period. I like Metroidvania style games. Now there's a plump dwarf. <laughs> the best the best type of dwarf. The only two really valid types of dwarves are very plump ones or ex way over muscular ones. The skinny dwarves are just meh. Oh cool, more helmets. We should be approaching the max. This rat is is really he's guiding us through this. Okay. Get a bomb in Schmas. I feel like we should be able to jump down here, but I don't. If we jump down here with something. I'm I'm really gonna regret this, but we're gonna do it. I regret it. I feel like we're not gonna be able to get back up. Maybe I don't regret it. I do regret not taking the giant machine gun with me, though. Hmm. I think... I thought I'd turn the timer on that follow notification up. I may have to go back in and do that in a second. Because it's only we've only been live for 15 minutes. Alright, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna actually I'm gonna go do that. It should only take like two minutes. Maybe it's a timer even even when I'm not live. But whatever. Okay. Back to game. Let's do it. Alright, so we found the village and we're supposed to meet our um uh, our contact here. Locate the village tavern with my giant gun. So if we'd gone the other way, I guess we would have come out up here. Yeah, we totally would have. Okay. Oh, but but this way we get to climb a, a cement wall. <laughs> this is the weirdest mechanic. Whoever came up with this is... I don't know. I just, I appreciate it. I really do. It's ridiculous. And Taco Truck claims it's not in... Taco Truck claims the pipe is not in any other, any other game. 
It's just, it's like, it's a core mechanic of this game. You, you use it for literally everything. It's really weird. You know, you understand why Dracula's so edgy and looks miserable. Tell me why Dracula's so edgy and looks miserable. I want to hear it. Whoa! Shit! I am going to die. I am going to die. Alright. Jesus. Jesus! Actually, we're really low on ammo with this. I think we're gonna... Really low on ammo with that. Either. Oh, we're just really low on ammo. Maybe not with our assault rifles? We're not low on ammo with our assault rifles. Alright, this is good. Oh, nice! Okay, perfect. Now we're not low on ammo. I think that was someone driving in over me. Yeah, tell me all about the reason he's edgy and why it makes sense. Sentries every day. You can totally justify why he's so edgy. That is true. Honestly, just living forever in general would make a person edgy. How did he. How did that guy. I don't want to restart, but. Actually, let's not retire. It's fine. There's no mission that we actually have to accomplish here, I don't think. Whew. Actually, let's get our Blom and Schmoss out, or whatever this guy's called. I love this gun. I also love this gun. <laughs> he even put the ugliest in some shithole filled with lava? No. Did he really? These guys are an awful shot. How is this guy not dead yet? Jesus. So do you have to do you have to like battle his servants? Is that how that works? Cool, cool. That was easy. You know, for nightmare or whatever, you know, I'm this is basically nightmare mode in most games. For nightmare mode, this game in some parts really is not very Oh shit. Oh I, I see where I am. The game is really not very hard, and then in others it is ridiculously hard. Like insane. So, I guess it's just a balance. But like, you'd think they would have made these areas a bit harder. Like a bomb and schmoff. Alright, let's go. Think fast, BJ. Whoa, what? BJ, think fast! I love the pipe. It is... It is such a good... Ah, nope, nope, nope. I almost died. All 
I really would like more ammo for this gun. Excuse me, sir. Sir? Yep, yeah, because he died and now his cursed blood tainted his servants and they are insane even more than they, than they were. Ah, I got you. So when you're going through, you have to kill them. Isn't the whole game... I, let me let me see if I get I have the story kind of... An understanding of the story. The game is basically about this explorer guy who goes in to try and kill Dracula because Dracula's like taken over a bunch of areas, right? Is that is that correct? And you can play as mul multiple people as well. Like his friends and stuff. Or no. You already know I'm here, huh? Oh! I'll read that in a second. One second. Give me. Oh, jeez. That really hurt. Take all your ammo, please. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's read about Dracula. He was a member of the Brotherhood of Light and tried to save Earth because a god had cut off from God and all kinds of demons filled it and his wife died so he wanted to bring her back to life. Oh! Gabriel. Wait, isn't Gra isn't Gabriel Dracula's like younger brother or something? So he went on a quest to kill Lords of Shadows which were the bodies of founders of the Brotherhood of Light and ascended to heaven. Interesting! Wow, that's a much more complex story than I thought. This is basically Dishonored. Basically Dishonored. Or Prey. That was some Prey mechanics right there. Adventure. Shit. All right. I wonder if I can just blow these up. Ah! Call me the quick scoping genius. Oh, 
Uh, no. a little better. In the end, he collected all three shards of some mask that should give them power to equal to a god, but it turned out his companion, Zobek, was the third lord of shadow, and it was him who manipulated Gabriel to kill his own wife. Whoa. That is some deep shit right there. Okay, so we need to be a little better about killing this guy. Get me out! Not too bad so far. There we go. And now we get the super badass weapon as well. Okay, we didn't know. We didn't know. You're just trying to rearmor and Woo! All right, not too bad. Is there another one coming? I I feel like there's another one coming. Right, there's health here. Nice, we got the achievement with this one. Let's see if we have any more of these left. I think we may have used them all. Yeah, we did. Alright. 